Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to another episode of In the Stew. Right now, we got the pleasure of being uh, graced with the presence of Ace Lee. Ace Lee. How you doing, fella? What's going on, sir? Um, so we're going we're gonna to get a quick set of questions in, get a little rundown. Uh, first off, man, how you doing today? How you feeling today? I'm very much great. How you can? I'm doing well, man. All right, so uh, let us know. T- tell the viewers what you got going on nowadays. Well, currently, I'm working on my debut musical project, which is called Midwest by Blood, Dirty South by Mouth. It's... A lot of blood, sweat, and tears have went into this album. A lot of setbacks, but nevertheless, it's coming to you guys' ears very, very soon. All right, can't be looking forward to it, man. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of ears out there yes. looking forward. They thirsty for something new, man. They yes. thirsty for something new. Yes, and, yes. and and elaborate more on, on for something new. The state of music right now. What do you feel like it embodies, and what do you feel like it lacks right now? Well, it embodies passion, like like. I can see where a lot of artists are passionate about doing music, but how it lacks is, or where it lacks is that nobody is original. I'm not saying nobody, but it's a lot of artists who, when they sit down and write a track or they listen to it, they listen to an instrumental, and instantly they be like, okay, this is something that such and such a rap to. So let me try to sound like this, or let me try to imitate that. That's something I try not to do because if it's something that I'm speaking, you know, about from my heart. It's not, it can't be said by this person. It can't be done by this person. So with that being said, I try not to, you know, do that type of music that everybody, it's trendy music, you know, and I, what I call elementary music where you could just come up with something like this quick. Not, not saying you don't have skills to do it, but just something real quick that really is not going to, not going to resonate with somebody. I don't, I try not to do music like that. Well said, well said. So let me ask you this. Everybody has their influences. Everybody has their influences. They're, 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 they're the music that they grew up listening to that they feel like molded them into either wanting to be an artist or or they it brings out that feeling in them so let me ask you who 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 influenced you my mother miss tony renee lee she sang with arrested development me seeing her and knowing that she went off the tour with these guys with these these this great passionate group at the time that motivated me beyond belief right there then my older brother wolf started doing music which put me in a position to be like hey hey we must be in our blood to do it tupac because i love the way that he can visualize something and then verbally give it to you and when it hits your ears you're like man that's relatable i can i I see what he's saying i see how that struggle has been within my life within my cousin's life whoever so those are my major my major musical influences like that above all made me want to do music well said alright so let me ask you this let me ask you this everybody wants to leave a legacy behind everybody has they, they want when when people think about them they want them to have a specific ideology about this person whether they be a singer whether they be, they be a dancer rapper so what do you want your legacy to be I want my legacy to be one of a thought provoking matter like I really feel like if I'm allowed to get to the point of music where I feel like it's is what I need to do, I feel like my legacy should should incur or concur, not concur. I feel like my legacy my legacy should be one of like greatness. Like I want to be able to put out songs that make you want to change the world for the better. And with that, with that being, you know, what you change in the world for the better, it should it should help the next person who you don't know. Like it's it's like a pass it forward or pay it forward type of effect. So that's what I want to happen for my music because when when you do music, it it ignites a passion in your soul, and it ignites your, how you walk, and it ignites how you think, it ignites how you write. So that's what I want my legacy to be, just to change the mind of one person. If I could reach like one person. That person can reach another person, and that person might be the one who ultimately changes the world. But I, now I don't, I don't need, I don't need anybody like holding onto my nuts saying, "Oh, everything you do is good." But I want to be, a, I want to be that type of person that ignites the thought that changes the world. That's a hell of a legacy right there. It's a hell of a legacy. All right, I got a hard one for you in closing, <laughs> and excluding yourself. Okay. <laughs> Top five. Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Tupac, who's still alive. Um, Andre three thousand. 
Mr. Bob Marley. Wolf, honestly. And I'm going to say, and this is not in, in a particular order, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Boozy. Because his, his, I've been listening to this guy since I was a little guy. And I was going to give it to Eminem, but I feel like Boozy deserves it, in my personal opinion, because everything that this guy has gone through, everything they have put this man through, like, he, he, he bounces back, similar to Pop. So anybody who can bounce back off of being locked up, facing a murder charge, Snoop, anybody who can Gucci, anybody who could, you know, bounce back after facing murder charges and still get out here and, and show your artists or show your fans, hey, this is what I'm about. I got I got to show them respect. I got to show them love. So in no particular order, it would be Marley, Tupac, uh, Boozy, Wolf, and who is the last person I said? Um... Marley, Tupac, Marley, Tupac, Boozy. I think you said three stacks. And three stacks. Three, three stacks, stacks. yeah. Because his mind is, how do you put words together like that? In your rhythm, like, yeah. My mind drifts sometimes like three stacks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, well, that, well, that that's what we got for you right now. Uh, Again, we ble we we bless with your presence, man, Thank you and very much. get out there and 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 make noise, give them hell. Yes, and, and I would like to say to you guys, thank you for having me. This will be one of many interviews that I am blessed to do with you guys. You guys are blessed to do with me. So please keep it strong. Listen out for me because I have something different for you guys to listen to. So much love, much peace to you guys. One love. All right, brother. Later.